This is a brief video about trailer inspections. A little stuff I've experienced recently and hopefully it's a help to other people. This right here is a new patch, a new slab of board for a floor that had a, one of the old boards had a crack in it. By the way, y'all like my kangaroo shoes. We got them online. They still exist, but they don't have the pocket. Anyway, that's a, it had a small, like it caved in almost like a letter V, you know, downward in the middle. And it was sticking up like this, you know, like that. Kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of. Well, we didn't think about it. So we wrote it up and put a, put a patch on there. Well, the trailer shop did. And let me show you why. I found out recently why that first crack appeared. See, see what it's doing on the bottom look at that i was sitting at a uh, shipper recently and i heard some popping as soon as it went through because it's a new patch and i was hoping hey it's gonna be good right so i heard a big pop sound it's like that's not good i actually go on the other side and film it and i'll probably upload that too but i want to do this to explain what you're looking at in the next in the video is uh I kept seeing these things, these uh, K rails or I beams, cross beams bow. They bow this way. Every time the forklift would uh, go in, they would the floor would bow like that. And I'm like, okay, are they supposed to do that? You know, because you know some steel beams arch until you put weight on them. I've never seen it do that, but I was just watching, and I kept seeing the four pop every time the forklift would go over here, and I noticed that. I saw a hairline fracture on one of these beams. Look at that. Can you see it? And then I started noticing another fracture in the beam. And then I noticed another, where's that at? Is it up here? There's one up here that's so tiny you can't see. But anyway, every time the forklift would go in, these beams would just give, give way. And that's what was causing the floor to crack because this is the support for the floor. They can hold a lot of weight the way they're spaced out if this is supporting them. But with these hairline fractures, it, you just couldn't see it. So my floor guys with their trader shop uh, didn't notice these fractures, I guess because of the angle, the way it's dark inside, I don't know. But I sort of noticed it once uh, that forklift got in there and started pushing it more and more down. And we got some separation also from this part right here to this, uh, whatever this slider part is from the old welds. But this is an old trailer. So keep an eye on your equipment. If you ever hear any popping or notice any cracks in your trailers, think something caused it, maybe go check the support beams underneath and go from there. But do not, let me tell you, if you're ever in this predicament and you see fractures on any of these support beams, do not let anyone load it whatsoever. It's just too dangerous. Equipment can fall through in transit, loading, receiving, whatever. So it's just very dangerous, too risky, too costly. Lives are at stake sometimes. So just uh, do a good pre-trip, look for hairline fractures. But again, these didn't show up until you put some weight on them. You know, some things are just not visible really until you put, uh, put them in the field, put them to work, put some weight on them watch them watch the procedure you know and oh that was close though that was very close so they unloaded it and uh i decommissioned the thing